If you like my takes on sports, maybe you'll like my takes on movies. I just created a movie review channel. I reviewed The Menu, Glass Onion, and the newest Puss in Boots movie, so if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on those, I start off each review without spoilers, so don't worry, you don't have to have seen the movie to watch the review. The link is in the description to that new channel. Had a lot of fun making those videos, so definitely check that out. And anyway, on to your regularly scheduled video. We got to see actually a great performance from Kenny Pickett. I was surprised at how well he played in this one. Uh, I thought that, you know, okay, young player getting better. I've been pretty pro Kenny Pickett this season, but he wasn't good in this game. He was amazing, I thought. This was a fantastic football game by Kenny Pickett. Starting off with this play, some of it is more simple stuff, but even the simple stuff isn't easy necessarily. The Colts are going to have a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups across the board, and so you look at, uh, usually it's going to be the route that I've highlighted on the screen is the one that gets open. A good quarterback should still check the over the middle route first and then look in that direction, and uh, Pickett is going to do that. Watch Pickett take the snap. He does, you know, follow his progressions, quickly gets to the second read though when he realizes, yep, that's the one that's probably going to get open, so that's where I'm looking. And you see Friar move is, you know, not a ton of separation, right? I mean, there's a little bit. This can work, and also worth mentioning just the situation. It's a second down. They have to get to the 25-yard line, so picking up some yards here is absolutely key. But look at this throw. I mean, that's just perfectly where it had to be. Firemuth was able to make that catch easily despite a lack of separation, which is not easy to pull off. Now, the angle certainly helped pick it there, but again, that's why you look at that th route, right? Because that's the one with the best angle. So, you know, again, pick it at this point. He's kind of doing the stuff where uh, what Mac Jones did last year of just the, at this point in the season, you're just like, well, yeah, I expect Kenny Pickett to make the correct read on that play. That's what Kenny Pickett does, which is really kind of optimistic because a lot of young quarterbacks don't do that right away. Something like this is another great example of what Kenny Pickett can do. So you see the concept on the screen, the defensive concept and the offensive concept. It's cover two zone. You have a few routes that could potentially get into gaps in coverage. He's going to first look towards his right. Pickett takes the snap. He is going to, again, look towards his right. You see right there, he can maybe make that throw, but that's tough, right? I mean, that's a short window to get it through. You're going to have to get it through quickly. I don't know. Does feel a little dangerous. So he's going to look off that route, and I can see why. He instead looks over towards his left, and this is another one that, like, okay, you could make this route, uh, could make this throw to the route, is what I meant to say. You have a linebacker who's kind of in your way, and I'm assuming that's why Pickett didn't want to make this throw. To be honest, I probably would have rather him make this throw. I think I would have, but again, it is tough. There isn't a clear throwing lane. He's not going to do that, and I think really he wants to just give himself an extra beat, so he's going to decide to run outside the pocket. Pickett does run outside the pocket, but then he kind of quickly says, hey, wait, I can pick up this first down with my legs, and that's exactly what he does. Again, Pickett is an athlete. I feel like I keep saying this every video. I, you know, People don't talk about it as much as you think they should because Pickett can move really well, and I think his legs are a part of his game, and it's, you know, I don't know. Can I see some Jalen Hurts comparisons in there? Someone who I was also very high on. Uh, you know, I got to give myself credit because of all the quarterbacks I was wrong about. Got to, you know, give myself credit for the one I was right about. I don't know if I would say Kenny Pickett was is quite as impressive as I, I thought Hurts was, but I see some similarities with those two players. I really do. Now let's go over to this play where it's going to be a zone coverage play. You have George Pickens on the outside, and what's worth mentioning here is that you see the concept, so it's cover three zone, but you see the way it's lined up where the Steelers are looking as though they could run the football, how tight everyone in that Colts box is. The reality is there is no chance that someone else is getting into the play to stop uh, George Pickens in that one-on-one -on -one matchup. The only way it would happen is if the, right when the play started, the safety immediately turned and ran in that direction. So, okay, that's where Pickett is, right? Pickett wants to throw two Pickens deep down the field. He's already made a decision. But here's where things, to me, get interesting from Kenny Pickett. So what do you do in this spot? What do you do to make sure that there's a one-on-one -on -one matchup down the field. What did I say? The only guy who, who could get into the play would be the safety. So you can't let the safety know that you're throwing in that direction, at least not right away. So watch Pickett and watch how he takes the snap and look at his eyes and look at how he, you saw that for a second, right? How he had that beat where he looked straight forward down the field at the safety and then looks over towards uh, 
Pickens on this play. So you freeze the safety because the safety doesn't know which direction you're going, and it doubles as you also get to look at the safety because maybe there was a very clever disguise going and he was going to go in one direction, but now that he's not doing that, you've completely taken the safety out of the play. It's those little things that you know, if Tom Brady does it, no one bats an eye, you expect Tom Brady to do it, but you don't expect rookies to do it, and Pickett is doing it, which is what makes him so, you know, in my opinion, incredible as a rookie. Watch Pickett then make this throw down the field, and you are going to see Pickens with an incredible catch. Great throw, great catch, for sure. That's what's going to get the headlines, but to me, it's the little stuff that helps set that up that is almost more impressive, in my opinion. We've seen young players come in and make good throws. We've seen, I mean, again, incredible catch from uh, Pickens as well, but we've seen Pickens make some incredible catches. But, you know, what we don't see as often is young quarterbacks coming in and doing little things like looking to safety off. That's just, that's good football. And again, going over here, he was just making some good throws. I mean, this is nothing fancy, but just a good throw where this is a route that's dangerous. I, I don't love these types of routes because it's, you know, Look, you think about the angle that Pickett is going to have to make this throw on. It's going towards the outside, and Pickett is on the hash marks towards the top half of the screen. So that's a tough angle, and if a defender just gets a step on it, it could be a pick six. So these are always dangerous to me, right? When the play begins, it's, you know, it's not very open, right? Again, not a ton of separation. This is going to have to be a perfect throw. But a perfect throw it is, and then look at Move doing some extra stuff after the catch, getting a, as much yards as he can. Incredible stuff from Pickett. I mean, that's just, that's a great throw. It's not the, this, again, I don't know if it's going to go on too many highlight reels, but it probably should. I mean, this is the type of stuff that's really difficult to pull off, and he's pulling off really difficult stuff. I mean, the reality is, uh, Pickett hasn't played like he played in this game every game of the se of the season. I think that's fair to say this was his best game by a pretty good margin, in my opinion. But if he plays like this every single week, he's at least like a tier two quarterback. Like I think that this is, you know, if Matt Stafford has this game, you say, yeah, that's like a pretty good Matt Stafford game. I mean, honestly, if Tom Brady has this game, you were like, yeah, Tom Brady played well. Like you know, that's kind of how good of a game this was. And there's even stuff like this, which I love as well, where it's not just running the offense. It's this is going to be a man coverage play and you know, long story short, no one's going to get open. Watch Pickett takes a snap. He is going to do a good job. If he looks at a several, several different guys, again, Pickett, definitely not a one-read quarterback, looks at a lot of different areas, but nothing's open. Okay, so nothing's open at this point. What do you do? Well, watch Pickett kind of scramble out, and he's going to put himself to a point where he's right here, where there is a one-on-one -on -one matchup sort of in the back of the end zone. It's I still don't think I sh he should make this throw as of right now, but the reality is he's going to see something that I just didn't. The defensive back on his play has his back kind of turned, right? He's not really looking at generally anything right here, and Pickett is going to take advantage of that. He throws behind the defensive back in a way that his receiver could adjust to it while the defensive back couldn't. I mean, that's just an incredible play. That's just an incredible play by Pickens as well. Pickens and Pickett, that uh, connection. I wish your names weren't so similar because it you know, uh, makes it harder for me to say. But other than that, I mean, they're, that's just such a great connection. This is, if you're a Steelers fan, this has to get you so pumped this game. I mean, this was such an awesome performance by him. I thought that he was great. He was doing some little things incredibly well, and he was making some impressive plays. And like, the reality is, if this is just who Kenny Pickett is, he's already a good quarterback, in my opinion. So I don't know, just some awesome stuff. And listen, I wasn't even overly high on uh, Pickett coming out of the draft. I wasn't like super low on him either, but I was kind of, you know, I had him as like a fringe first round talent kind of grade. But he was one of those guys where, I mean, part of why I was concerned about him was in college he kind of didn't really do much and then his last year he was legitimately good but I was like that feels like kind of a one-year wonder type thing of when you're older you're kind of beating up on younger players but who knows maybe he just legitimately got better in his last season Joe Burrow had a similar thing so I don't know all I can go off of is what I see with my two eyes and you know predictions are hard but I feel like evaluating is easier and I do feel like evaluating Kenny Pickett he's had a great rookie season and played great against the Colts that's what I think what do you guys think let me know in the comments below always love hearing from you and of course as always thanks for watching